Welcome back everyone. We are now over a month into the NBA offseason, and up until this point, the main talking points regarding the Lakers have continued to be about trading Westbrook, their future with LeBron, and of course, trading for Kyrie Irving. With that last one in particular really being the most popular, as both many LeBron fans and Laker fans would love to see Kyrie Irving in the purple and gold. Although, despite what some people may have you believe, there has been very little if any notable news regarding that for quite a while now. And that has been the reason for why I have not covered it. There has not really been anything noteworthy to talk about, so why continuously bring it up? In reality, we've actually gotten much better news regarding a few other trade possibilities, with my favorite one being a potential trade with the Utah Jazz. And with that being said, barring an unexpected change of heart by either Kyrie Irving or the Brooklyn Nets to trade both him and Kevin Durant within the next month, this will be the final update I will provide on Kyrie Irving. We'll be going over the latest news on him, his continuously lowering odds of becoming a Laker this year, and then how they could plan to team up in the future instead of right now. Before we do that though, I would really appreciate it if you would take a brief moment to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell to get updated right away when I drop a new video. I know all of that might sound a bit redundant, but it really does help the channel grow, and I genuinely do appreciate those of you who do that without me having to remind you. Anyways though, now back to today's topic, and to begin, none of the news we've gotten about Kyrie Irving lately is good, or at least it isn't if you want him to become a Laker. According to Ian Begley, there is quote unquote, a lot of pessimism regarding a Kevin Durant trade being done in the near future. In addition to that, Begley reported that Kyrie Irving is in a good and comfortable place with the Nets right now, both of which are not good for his odds of becoming a Laker. It's now been reported on multiple different occasions that the Nets will not trade Kyrie Irving before Kevin Durant and with how dead the current trade market is for KD, that likely means that both are staying put for the time being. After all, Kevin Durant is under contract for 4 more years, the Brooklyn Nets have nothing but time to trade him, and as long as they have KD, they won't worry about trading Kyrie Irving. Even with those two alone, they have the foundation of a competitive team, and while neither of them would prefer to be there right now, the Nets are not going to trade them for less than what they believe they are worth. And with what they believe Kevin Durant's trade value to be, I don't believe a trade will be happening anytime soon which pretty much rules out Kyrie Irving becoming a Laker in 2022. And yes, I am only saying 2022, and not the entire 2022-23 NBA season for a reason, as there could be a slight possibility of him becoming available at the trade deadline. If the Brooklyn Nets end up underperforming, and the Lakers would end up keeping Westbrook, then a trade between them could maybe become possible again at the trade deadline. Now, I really doubt the Lakers would want to keep Westbrook until then purely for that opportunity, but hey, I guess you never really know with them. What I find much more likely to happen though, is that the Lakers trade Westbrook for a different player within the next month or two, and that Kyrie Irving plays out the year with Brooklyn. Which although might sound like a bad thing for those of you who only want Kyrie Irving, that could actually turn out to be a blessing in disguise. Rather than having to give up assets for him, or waiting on Brooklyn to be willing to cooperate with them, they could simply wait for Kyrie to become a free agent. And if he is truly being honest about wanting to become a Laker, then they would theoretically be his number one, and really only option during free agency. Not only that though, but they would have the ability to outright sign him too. Now that would likely require LeBron to take a slight pay cut, but it's definitely a possibility. If we take a look at their projected payroll, along with the projected 2022-23 NBA salary cap, they are looking at having about 80 million in cap space. However, that is before they work out a contract with not only LeBron, but also with a guy like Austin Reeves, who I really doubt they would want to simply let walk. With that being said though, that does not leave them with much cap room. If LeBron were to sign that 2 year $97 million contract extension, then that would immediately trim their cap room to only about $30 million. Then if you were to throw in Austin Reeves, which will probably be an average annual salary of about $8 to $10 million, 
then they really don't have that much money to offer. And that is under the assumption that they would let every other player on their roster walk, which would include guys like Lonnie Walker, Thomas Bryant, and even Cole Swider. And while I love the idea of signing Kyrie Irving, it's probably not happening without LeBron taking a pay cut, or unless they would let go of almost everyone on their team other than LeBron and AD. That is really what it will come down to. Will LeBron actually be willing to do that though? That I cannot say for sure. But if he truly wants to run it back with Kyrie Irving, then that is the way for him to do it. I mean, I wouldn't blame him for taking the maximum amount of money he can get, and I'm sure the Lakers will offer it to him if they haven't already. But if we are looking towards the future here, he should really be thinking about taking a pay cut. I know it's not entirely fair to ask that of him, as we all know how greedy NBA owners tend to be, but with the way things are looking like right now, it's the best option he currently has to team up with Kyrie Irving again. Because besides that, the other options include hoping for him to become available at the trade deadline, which would also involve keeping Westbrook until then, or completely dismantling their team to have enough money to sign him. And I don't find either of those very appealing, which in my mind, really makes what LeBron does with that contract extension even more interesting. Not only for his future as a Laker, but for Kyrie Irving's potential future there too. No, not through a trade, but by outright signing him in free agency. And that is yet another thing I would be looking for with what LeBron does here, as it could potentially signal what both he and the Lakers have in mind for the future. Now, a big part of that will also be the team they build this year, but if they do end up putting a solid group around him, then I have no doubts about LeBron making long-term plans to remain with them. And maybe, just maybe those plans include Kyrie Irving, which would really end up making their failure to acquire him now a blessing in disguise. What do you guys think though? Do you believe they have any chance of acquiring Kyrie Irving prior to training camp? And do you agree or disagree about waiting until next year to try and sign him? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.